Hi there, Signs of Leo. This is Kim. This is your of my second try for your reading. I'm going to use the Uncommon Tarot and Kipper and Lenormand decks. All those are kind of combined in the Siren Song, but... <sighs> Alright, so we'll do a Celtic Cross just to see what uh, placements in the spread you need to know about. Your angels, your spirit guides should help guide this reading. Alright. Should I use this deck? Yeah, okay. Okay. Use it. What is the issue for our, I was about to say angels, our Leos, that's my angel mom looking there trying to help fresh new start after going within so this is like seeing your outer work comes to you it's it's the ship is sailed and you're getting on it that's what it is four cups in the reverse is like when you're just not really relating to whatever is around you anymore not resonating with it you have the four of wands in the reverse so this is um the challenge is a move is it is quite literally a big move whether that's a it's a move to what you are or who what and who you are committed to four four in the reverse i have different like codes and messages <laughs> of how i get uh how i interpret things especially numbers and stuff like that so when I see two fours in the reverse, Leos, I'm guided to tell you that your path is going to change, probably significantly. This is something that you called in because of getting over a period of like boredom or dissatisfaction. You possibly could have even started, uh, you know, getting disinterested in the things that you once were interested in. Let's put my king and queen right back there. <laughs> chess pieces hmm, maybe a chess move maybe making a move similar to a chess move okay at the heart of the matter the star and you see the way that the star card is coming out right So the, the heart is trying to, you see the peacock too here? The star card is, um, well, if you think of what the stars do, they, um, they represent the alignment that's going on Pri quite uh, literally in, in our um, lives. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it is the alignment. It's neither good nor bad. It is the alignment when you get down to the math of everything. And so the heart recognizes this and still recognizes the stars, the destined path, and the alignment. Even when it has gone through the disappointment, your heart turns that into, now how, how am I gonna enjoy the good things that come in after I've experienced that? Oh, probably so much better, you know? <clears throat> so I definitely think it's like a mix. I'm gonna put it like that. I think it is a mix, at least for the heart space, it is a mix. Past energy for Leo. Past energy for Leo. I'll be honest. The first take of this reading, I couldn't, I couldn't publish because I was just like, no, 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 no. There's got to be a different way that I can interpret this. It wasn't that anything bad was predicted. It was just like, oh goodness, it was a lot. It was a lot. Um, I have the three of ones, and it, it, it is like on its side too. It's a mixture of some things are going the way that you wanted or the way that you envision them. And then a lot of things are unexpected life journey. Um, so it's the journey, it's the expansion. And it, it's like it got to a point where you couldn't really expand as much as you would want it to. And so that led to dissatisfaction, which led to like a slacking back of the hard work that you normally put in. And, um, 
and like a feeling of I'm discontented because some kind of goal was not met, but it's because of some kind of expansion that was not going to take place in that state, state of mind, actual state. <laughs> I mean, it's something like that. Tell me about goals, destiny. Goals, destiny. Ace of Swords in the reverse. And the Devil in the reverse. Hmm. I feel like it's you're saying no to addictions and to toxic things in your life. Because the Devil is in reverse too. We'll definitely clarify that more because it's usually like my no card. But I think it's tied to the Devil energy here. And it's like, a, here's the truth, is like not, not finding the truth in this situation. Therefore, you went within, and there's the new fresh start needed. The big move is the challenge or, yeah, the action towards whatever it is that's new. What is the future energy? Chariot in reverse, the Seven of Cups. You have to choose wisely. There's an issue with travel. And maybe that's it. Now, the issue with travel can be our awareness because of the Seven of Cups. Our ability to choose wisely or to overcome our obstacles or reach out to vices. And I, and I think that that will actually decide this. Remember, you, alchemize, you are the magician. You alchemize all of these things. And so what is the rest for? What is the pause for? Better choices, resting up for an ending to leave an old way behind. A rest before, it's like a rest and a renew before you get going. Carry on your way, what son? There'll be peace when you are done. Lay your weary head on mine. Don't you cry no more. Okay, so there could be some kind of financial worry or burdens. That might be what you're trying to move away from. There can be issues within the family unit, established family connections, something to do with money or, yeah, um, I mean, money issues, money problems. Um, not always, when I say a money problem, I'm not always talking about lack of. Um, sometimes a misuse of like of other people misusing your money and that's kind of what I'm seeing like here is like um, lots of people asking for a handout or putting you in a hard situation because you're a Leo and you've got a big heart right so that puts you and the some and that might set you back actually is wanting to help too much uh, in the environment Something's gone on a long time as far as like how the how some kind of money situation's been handled within your connections. It's an energy of feeling like um, no, something's not working in sync with how you're really wanting it, and it feels a bit like we're paused and we're we're stuck with the pause button on the wheel in the reverse. When is the good time? When is it ever a good time? 10 10 hmm hope or fear this is an interesting reading the hope is to give back as others have given to you the hope is to be able to give gifts gifts of charity reciprocity i help you you help me like success that that is what the hope is for a compromise that makes that reaches success for everybody involved that's what the hope is for outcome two oh well that says it all doesn't it I really don't feel that see I knew that that was what it was Wow there's major change and transformation when it comes to you letting go of the devil energy that is holding you back that energy that makes you think well you might as well reach out to me since we're in this situation like you know what i mean with the devil you might as well give in to this since you feel like this and no you're releasing that that's what's been keeping you from moving forward it's the devil energy it's 
positively the devil energy because it's in reverse you do conquer these fears you change this energy if you want if you don't want to get stuck into the attachments of the devil energy which keep you held down then you're going to embrace this change and transformation and this pause is so that you can have a handle over your devil sometimes giving too much is somebody's devil or vice you know what i mean everybody has their own devils some of us it's um actual drug or alcohol addictions some of us it is addiction to a person obsessions fears anything that's making you grasp really tight because actually what you're grasping on too tight has a hold on on you usually um i'm gonna cover her little top <laughs> silly youtube silly youtube okay uh 10 10. it's never been the right time to face these demons but now it is or it's never felt like the right time to beat these demons but now it is and here's the change Ooh, here's the change the knight of swords and look how intent this person looks um wow also the seagull is pictured here too so there might be something about travel and ocean or i mean maybe you just feel really drawn to the ocean like i i do and i'm not uh, <laughs> near the ocean right now but i haven't been for years but i love the ocean um taking flight eating well making changes this is a change that's kind of swift in fact it could be a transformation that once you started it which i definitely see with that death card you've already it was connecting the star to the chariot in reverse the pause is for you to step into your star power truly it's for you to step into your divine beauty it's for you to step into who you really are which is the creator not the one like if you want to play the part of somebody attached to an addiction or vice you can but that's not what you're wanting to play anymore or maybe that's what you're fighting you know what i mean like that's what the pause is for the rest the pause is to recuperate and reconcile with your divine self oh and 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 um there might be some mourning look literally there might be mourning of the old ways two three of coins says you can do this you're laying down the groundwork for something really amazing for yourself so you know what let's go ahead and get let's get a little bit more tarot and we'll use the kipper too just so we can get a little bit more information because i feel like this path like i said this journey involves a path change but requires a pause so that you can realize what path that you are on that needs to be changed well probably already did that probably already realized that sometimes it sounds like it knocked through and sometimes it doesn't <laughs> all right tell me about this path mm, ace of wands in the reverse Yep. Okay. So I was going to say that the Ace of, oof, that's a nice energy. Um, I was going to say that the Ace of Wands in the reverse felt like a lack of um, motivation or inspiration. And then before I even said that, the next card out was the dissatisfaction, the kind of like, I'm bored. I'm apathetic. I can't relate to anything. I don't want to relate to anything. I want to go inside uh, in a cave. Or turn the light, turn the lights off and take naps all the time like that's this energy and and so un uninspired is is definitely what's here as far as the path that you feel like is currently happening that is maybe boring and maybe even uncomfortable but it's only because of all these changes with the death card it's because of all the changes that you're making and so you're let so letting go of what once inspired you from the past with the ace of wands which once was a path you would have liked to go down or you thought you did it's really more of like there was a pleasure of the flesh feeling 
And so when you realize you're a divine self, then you're really not that flesh body. And so th things become, like it takes more to really <laughs> impress or excite you. Okay, so Queen of Pentacles, you can do it all and you will. The boredom and dissatisfaction is exactly why the path is changing. You are being divinely directed and guided and supported. What's the Ace of Swords up there doing in the reverse? There's that Five of Cups again. The shaking of the table showed it. Disappointment, regret, sadness for not walking in your truth for such a long time and holding on to so much hurt that maybe you realize is contributing to why these demons would even want to be attracted to you in the first place. Because of feeding off of that fear and the hurt and the pain. There are things that like that. <laughs> okay, so letting go. This is about putting, um, putting something in the past. And it's another card that represents a fresh new start. Tell me about the wheel in the reverse. The timing. The timing. The timing. Mmm. The five of coins. It feels like you you feel like the timing is being mainly affected by worries on the material realm. Such as health concerns. Maybe health bills. Um, bills in general. Food. Feeling left out, feeling like an outsider, even when you're in, um, oh, especially when you're with your friends or family, like it might not even feel the same anymore. You may feel very uh, out or alone in the environment. You may feel like um, even if you're around a lot of people that you're alone feeling. <clears throat> Another 10 of coins in the reverse. And then I have the chariot upright. That's nice. So if it is this situation where you feel like you're stuck because money situation, uh, job situation, a security issue, a Leo likes a plan, a Leo doesn't really want to move forward without a good solid plan. I think it's saying that, that we might need to move forward because these situation or these things are going to be solved for us by our movement for like the energy changes when you start going in the direction you're meant to chariot upright means you are on the right path maybe these problems these demons have gotten in the way of um, your ability to maintain uh, when it comes to business finances and, and commitment to all that stuff maybe that is what's been getting in the way of, of your success and achievement or what is making it take so much more time you know what I mean like when's this gonna happen well we're responsible for those periods but there's no real mistakes you don't know what kind of led you to this so the chariot in the reverse the chariot upright you're feeling like you just want to get this going you want to get this moving you can feel that there is a lot of prosperity and wealth within you and success within you and so the pause is slightly uncomfortable let's just say that and so the pause is slightly uncomfortable want to there's a, a want to be moving forward you know what i mean so tell me more about um the chariot in the reverse Future energy, tell me more about that. Temperance in reverse, the nine of wands. So it's not giving up on yourself. And then this is the timing. This is the timing. Whenever the time, so in the upright, you have patience, divine timing, unwinding. The When you move forward and don't give up and persevere, then the wounded soldier keeps on going on and on. So you have to heal from some kind of exhaustion perhaps first and realize what things in your life don't have the right chemistry. Just to put it that way. Um, so you hope to give back. You hope to make things fair. It's a, it's a this and a that and a compromise. What else about the hopes? Justice. For your truth, for your truth, partnerships, truth, marriage relationships, justice, scales being balanced, things like um, finding balance and achieving balance 
with the scales in all areas of your life would be optimum. And that, I think, is what you're trying for. Tell me about death. Ooh. The magician. It's what you've man you're manifesting. And the six of swords because you're getting away eventually after some pause in a major transformation, guys. Major. Hierophant in the reverse. It's like I said, there's some things that are going to change. God, it's going to be a hot day today. I can already tell this little room's getting burning up. Libra energy, Cancer energy, Scorpio energy showing up real strong in your reading. Aquarius. Courtship number four, a coming together, partnerships that work. Someone even getting wanting to get to know you. Wanting to get to know you. Maybe how you did something. Or inspired by you. Yeah, whoa. Inspired by you. An official person, number 22. I have mature woman. Concern, 33. 11. Sudden wealth. And this energy that wants to come together, you're in their thoughts. In their thought. Whoa. <laughs> in their thoughts. You can see it is, it's very similar to these two people, right? You're in somebody's thoughts. The change in the 16 is here. So it's change, transformation. Whatever mindset you're leaving behind is leading you to sudden wealth because it, it's actually not been sudden, okay? It's been this whole journey of finally realizing what is needing to be transformed, changed. And, and then when you get to that, it's like, it's almost like a light switch in your life. And um, that might be why it looks like sudden wealth here at this point in your timeline when it comes in, but it certainly has not been like a sudden transformative journey for you. I assure everyone that <laughs> for all Leos and someone's very concerned about you. Number 33. You know what? I didn't read it. I didn't. I did not read this this way at first because I'm trying to be on the very positive side of things here lately. <laughs> and and so if I see something and I think it might be, I'll usually hold off till I get more confirmation. There is an energy you have to be wary of, not fear. Wary of the tricks they have up their sleeves to deceive you, to take from you, to cause harm to you. This mature woman is associated with the snake energy. And I just want to say that so that you understand that. <laughs> so that you understand that um, you don't have to fear this, but you have to be on your toes when it comes to having a clear mind so that you can spot when this person is like up to their tricks, up to their games. You know what I'm saying? Because their games are to make you hurt with the snake. And that's not cool. It's horrible. But it happens, and some people get some people have resentment, and that's the way that they want to let their resentment out. Um, you just need to be smart enough, you know, to know that a snake crawls on its belly, and you're so much taller that yes, you will step right on one, you might get bit, you might, <laughs> you gotta always be aware that they're out there, okay? And sometimes they're real concealed and hard to see. That's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> That's the only time I'm going to give that energy. I have gifts, kind of like an Ace of Pentacles. Somebody wants to give you a gift or gift to you. Ooh, I have good outcome with the number 15, which is that devil energy that you're reversing. Devil's in a bikini here. <laughs> The devil energy that you're reversing, 1515, that you're that you're controlling instead of having it control you. You're the magician. 
show that energy you're the magician you want the good outcome you're ready for it some big financial blessing is going to come into your life with this gift also um i have happiness contentment with the lily somebody and a new beginning infant the beginning of something child infancy a child or spirit baby possibly oh, what is that jumping on top of the snake that kind of another um powerful person on your side military 22 has your back on your side powerful individual in the heart but i'm noticing that it's like it's getting out so this um there is seemingly like a very loving energy wanting to give wanting to open their heart to you and this mature woman i feel like is get trying to do anything and everything to get in the way of your heart like receiving something here is what i think mm -hmm. it's the woman from the past it's the woman from the past a main character from the past i don't think you like this person Oh, the key. The key, I'm not, it might be the key to your problems, your solution, your um, wisdom, the key. It might be the concern um, for you that is uh, coming straight from somebody's heart space. And the concern for, the, for you having to experience this snake energy. You have like bodyguards here. Look, you've got one on each side. You have one on the bottom bottom of the deck and one on this side. 22-22 might be significant also. <clears throat> so tell me about the courtship. Tell me about the coming together then. Give us some good news, please. Well, this is good news. Actually, this is a, the most transformative reading I've done in a very, very long time. <laughs> okay, tell me about courtships. Okay, well, they're just going to reiterate deep thoughts. 16-16. <laughs> of your transformation and like loving it there you go as simple as it is looking at transformation for your new you and loving it seeing you elevate yourself um birth of a new anything with the stork also rising blowing up elevation it's all good it's all good and then i've got 27 on the go okay so we're gonna pull some oracle genetic gifts or i will not get through with my other readings today so telepathy mm -hmm. maybe from your father's side you could have gotten telepathy and maybe so you could know that if the bond um that you have with your father figure is a telepathic like they know what you're thinking before you call them up and told them type of deal youtube spiritual callings youtube platform popping out empath extremely sensitive person that feels another's emotions and that could have been why turning to um vices mm -hmm. uh tv news and media tv news platform spiritual purposes and let's close out with your angel number let's 888 eight, eight, I am abundant and number five oh. I have seven seven I am brave wow and 333 three, three, I am powerful seven seven says it's time to move on from old patterns here habits and fears it's time to walk in the direction of your biggest desires and ambitions now is the time to be bold and brave I am brave seven seven three 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 heck yeah you are being called upon to use your spiritual gifts as a light worker assisting all of humanity and living your truth being a positive light to others i am powerful and you should say that out loud a whole whole lot i am powerful <laughs> all right sending you love and light and make sure you like and subscribe get notified hit the little bell so you can come back and if you need a private reading please don't hesitate to book with me in the description box below is how you can do that bye guys